Hello everyone, Hermano here, welcome again to the channel. And in this video I'm going to install MX Linux dual booting with Windows 10. MX Linux is a very popular Linux operating system. It has been on top of the charts on DistroWatch for months now. So I thought maybe it would be useful to make a video uh, dual booting it with uh, Windows 10. So the first thing here, what we need to do is to disable secure boot and fast startup in Windows just to avoid any conflict or any potential problems with Linux. So secure boot, I have already disabled it in the BIOS. So you'll have to go into the BIOS and disable that. And to disable fast startup, we'll just go to the control panel and we'll search for the power options and click on power options here. And then we'll click on choose what the power buttons do. And as you can see here, it's turned on already and I cannot check it off. So we need to click first here, change settings that are currently unavailable. And then I'll turn this off and save the changes. There you go. Now the next step is to make place for MX Linux. So I'll go to the disk management and blow up the window here. And as you can see, this is the C drive where Windows is installed. So I need to shrink this and make place for MX Linux. So I'll click shrink volume. And I'm gonna give this partition 256 gigabytes. So I'll type in 256000 and hit shrink. And now we have 250 gigabytes unallocated. That's perfect. So I'll close up the window. Now you would actually download the MX Linux image, burn it to the USB stick and boot your computer from there. You will be greeted by the MX Linux installer. Just make sure that you select the first option, which will boot you into the live ISO of MX Linux. And I'll meet you up there in a second. So here we are in the live installer of MX Linux. And I'm gonna close this window up here and click on the installer. And I'm gonna hit next on the window here. And first I want to run the partition tool because I want to make sure that the partition we created in Windows is there. And it is. So we have here the 250 gigabytes unallocated space. So I will right click here and click new. And I'll accept here the defaults because this is the whole space. And the file system is good. Primary partition is also good. I could put also a name here, but I don't need to do this. So I'll just click add. And I'll accept the changes here by clicking the check mark and click apply. I'll close up the window here and close up also Gparted. And we have to make sure here we select custom install on existing partitions. And then we hit next. And for the root partition here, we have to make sure we select the ext4 file type we created in Windows before. So I'll select P5 here, the fifth partition. And I leave the other one as they are and hit next. Accept the changes by hitting yes. And now it asks me to install the grub bootloader for Linux and Windows. And because it's a UFI system, ESP is correct. And MX Linux picked up here my EFI Windows partition, which is correct. However, when we will restart the system, Windows will not be visible in grub yet. We'll fix this later. For now, we just hit next. And I'll let here the computer name and the other things as they are and hit next. And I'll want to change just my time zone here to Europe. You will adjust this to yours accordingly. And then hit next. And now we can create a new user. So I'll type in my user here and a password. And we can retype it. And we can also create a password for the root user, which is good. I'll create one and retype it. I don't need to select these, so I just hit next. And now we just have to wait for the system to finish install, so I'll be back in a moment. And there you go, the installation is finished, so the checkbox to automatically reboot the system when the installer is closed, it's already there. So we hit finish now, and we'll be greeted by Grub, and we will have the choice to enter the installation of MX Linux. You will not see Windows yet on the list, so don't panic there, we'll fix this later. Just reboot the machine, enter in MX Linux, and I'll meet you back here at the desktop. So here we are now in MX Linux, uh, close up this window here. And the first thing we need to do is to check for updates. We could use the package manager here, but I want to do it through the terminal. So I'll pull up the terminal here. And I'll go full screen here. 
and increase the font size so that you can see better. And I'll type in sudo apt-get update first and hit enter, enter my password. And now the database is synchronized. So the next step would be to pull up the same command with the up arrow and replace update with upgrade and hit enter. And I want to continue, so I just hit enter. It's going to take a moment to update the packages, so I'll be back in a second. So in the middle of the installation here, I'm asked what I want to do with one package. At the moment, I want to keep the version I have, so I'll just hit the defaults by hitting enter. And I'll be back in a moment again. There you go, the packages are up to date, so I'll hit Control L to clean up the terminal. Now the last step we need to do is to update Grub so that it can show the Windows 10 option in the bootloader. To do this, we'll type in sudo update-grub and hit enter. As you can see, we have a line here saying found Windows Boot Manager on the partition number two, which is exactly what I needed and it has been added to the entry in the grub bootloader. So now what we can do, we can reboot the system and we will have the choice also to boot into Windows. So basically that's it for the installation. Now there is still one extra step I would like to show you and this is how to remove MX Linux and the grub bootloader from the system if you want to use only Windows or new machine. So I'm going to reboot the machine and enter in Windows again and I'll meet you back there. So we are back in Windows here. So I want to show you actually how to remove MX Linux and Grub Bootloader in case you want to use only Windows on your machine. So the first thing you want to do is to delete the MX Linux partition. So I'll go to the disk management here by right clicking on the start menu and click disk management. And I'll make the window bigger. And we have our Linux partition here. So I need to right click here and click delete volume and then click yes. And the partition is now gone. So if I want to use now the whole disk for Windows, I would have to right click on the C partition here and click on extend volume and hit next. Accept the defaults because it's going to use the rest of the disk and hit next and hit finish. And now Windows is on all the disk. Now I can close up this window. There is still grub to delete on the system because if we would now grub will be still visible and it will give us an error because it cannot find the Linux partition. So we need to delete grub as well. So to do this, we need to do a couple of steps. We need to first go to the Windows PowerShell. I'll choose to run it as an administrator. And the program I need to run now is disk part. So I'll type in disk part and hit enter. With this part, we can see the volumes on our disk here. So I'll type in first list volume and hit enter. And we have our recovery partition here, volume zero. We have our C drive where Windows is installed. And we have also the volume number two, which is the 100 megabyte EFI partition. So I need to select that volume. To do this, I'll type in select vol two. And I want to now assign a letter to this volume so that I can see it in Explorer. So I'll type in assign letter equal. You can choose any letter you want as long as it's free still in the system. In my case, I'll choose X and hit enter. Now, if I go in Explorer here, you'll see if I go to my PC, I have the X partition here visible. However, if I click on it, I can see it's not accessible. Even I click continue, it's still not accessible. So we need to find a way to access this because grub is installed in here. So to do this, I'm going to run task manager. And I'm going to hit file and run new task and then browse. And I'm going to click my PC here. And now if I double click on the X partition, the EFI partition, I have access to it. Now I see an EFI folder here, which is also where the Windows Boot Manager is installed. So I click here. And as you can see, we have a boot folder, a Microsoft folder, and an MX19 folder. This is the only folder you need to delete to delete Grub. So you basically right click on the folder, click delete, hit yes, and Grub is gone. Then you can hit cancel, cancel out of this window, close Task Manager, we need to also remove the letter from the X partition, otherwise it will be still visible in Explorer. So we'll type in remove letter equal X and hit enter. Now, if we see in Explorer, 
the partition is not anymore there. And now we can exit this part and close the Windows PowerShell. So this is how to install MX Linux dual booting with Windows 10. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to see more, make sure you like it by clicking the like button below and subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified of future videos. Subscriptions really helps us out guys. And if there is anything specific you want me to cover or you have any question, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one.